Hi everyone, it's Dagon Hills here. Thanks a lot for watching. Let's see what video I have for you today. Actually, I already know, but... Hi everybody, it's Dagon Hills here, and today we have another unboxing. It's going to be a kind of a combo video. I'm going to do this little unboxing, and then I'm going to switch and do a, another video. So I'll get my little trusty bench made. I'm going to open this guy up. I know it's in here, but the surprise is for you. Always for you. I love that knife. It's like lightning fast. Looks like bam. Waste no time. Oh, this is a little certificate of authenticity for the item which is in the box. Which see what we have here. I'm glad when it's uh, this and not the peanuts. Those things get everywhere. Okay. Put this over there. Put that there. Move that out. We don't need that. This. Ooh, nice. Oh, well. Comes with a little stand, but depends how you want to use it. This is a Canyon Diablo Meteorite. It's from the Meteor Crater in Arizona. I've been there in this next part. I'm going to give a little story and some facts. This is an awesome meteorite. It's hard to get them this big in this good condition. Most of them rust out. I have a smaller one, but I have to keep kind of Spraying it with WD-40 so it doesn't rust. Sorry, I'm getting all carried away spinning it. But you can put it on the little stand. Like that. I have another a Campo de Cielo meteorite, and I have it on a stand like this. Like that. But it comes with this little card. The man I get these from, he has, you can get huge ones, like four or five pounds, different ones. But here it is, so I'll see you in part two of this video. Hi, and welcome back to part two of this video. This is the Canyon Diablo Meteorite. It's an outstanding fragment. Now, Meteor Crater, which I have a postcard here and a magnet, it's near Winslow, Arizona, it, it, the crater was originally named Canyon Diablo because it was about four miles away from a place called Canyon Diablo, of course. But then they had, I think it was Roosevelt, he made a little post office there in a town called, they called it Meteor, so then it became Meteor Crater. But the fragments themselves are still called Canyon Diablo. And it's a nickel and iron, it's called an octahedrite. It's the most common structure of meteorites that are found, but it's nickel iron. Now looking at these, the postcard and the magnet here, you can see, you can see right there, that's the little center where if you go there, it's, uh, they have like a movie theater and everything, but it's a huge, it's almost a mile across and it's 560 feet deep, but this occurred about 50,000 years ago. The impact, it was a 160-foot iron-nickel mass, and it just vaporized when it hit. And the fragments, like the one here, they were kind of dropped off on its way down. And I've heard they've been found as far as nine miles away. It's illegal to hunt them, but some people do. I have another fragment, but it's not as spectacular as this one. But... The energy when it hit, it was the energy of more than 20 million tons of TNT. You can just imagine. And at that time, that was uh, the area was an open grassland with woodlands, and it was inhabited by mammoths and giant sloths. But if you look at this, it's just a spectacular fragment. 
it has a lot of nice shape on it. It actually kind of fits in your hand like that along your finger. They have a lot of really big fragments. They have one on display at actually at Meteor Crater. It's a, I think it's a thousand four hundred pound meteorite. It was just huge. I stood there. I took a picture, and it was amazing to see. And I know in Arizona they have big fragments. I wouldn't even really call them fragments. They're so huge, but they have them at different places. But in this they use this to train astronauts for the Apollo missions. And they even had at Meteor Crater in their little guest area, which you can see, they had, a, it was like a Apollo boilerplate spacecraft, which was used to, I think in tests. I don't think it really was actually used on a mission. It was like a test thing. But they have tours around the rim. I went out. It was pretty warm, so it was a trip. But just to stand there, they have an observation deck. And you can just stand there, and it's just amazing. But if you look at this fragment, now it's nickel and iron, so it's magnetic. But it's, this is just spectacular shape. A lot of them get rusted. This is just a beautiful, beautiful fragment. I just can't get over how nice it is. They're getting a little harder to find. You can still find them. But in this condition, uh, it's hard to find. I have a feeling the man I bought this from polished it up because most of them are rusted. The other one I have, it's probably half this size and I have to really keep it clean and I spray it with WD-40 and let it soak. And You can use a wire brush I love the shape. Let me zoom out on this. Because it kind of fits. It'll fit right in your hand like that. It's amazing. To think this fragment, this is billions of years old. Kind of puts a lot of things in perspective with our lives and things. But you don't know. This could have been the heart of a star, of a planet that exploded, sent hurling through space. That's what it inspired me to make my other meteorite video. It's a little dramatic, but it's really, these just amaze me. So you don't know really where it's from all the time. It flew and formed and then to end up here. But it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I have a nice collection I eventually will show more. I don't know how interested people are in meteorites. But to me, they really capture my imagination. As a child, I loved astronomy. As an adult, too. When I first saw the rings of Saturn, I was hooked. But these fragments are amazing. So here it is, my little Canyon Diablo fragment. It's really sweet. I think I'm going to display this with my other big fragment I have. I have a lot of different ones, but nothing this big. If I had a lot of money, I'd get one of the big five pound ones. <laughs> but they get a little expensive. But they're really amazing. So you ever are in Arizona, try to go and see this. It's just an amazing place. People there are really sweet. And they have a great gift shop and they sell uh, fragments. And they have a movie theater that recreates when the huge mass came and created this crater. But it's been filled in a lot just naturally. That's how come a lot of uh, craters on the earth you don't see. Because the earth is alive and changing and moving. That's why on the moon you see so many craters. Because it's just dead. It's not changing at all. But this, I think it's a hundred, over, I forget, over a hundred feet of different sediment and things at the bottom. So, it was even deeper.
but it's really a fabulous uh, thing to go and see. It's kind of way out there in the middle of nowhere, but it's really nice. And you get out there and you come upon this and it's just breathtaking. So I wanted to make sure to have a nice fragment. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And let me know down in the comments if you like these meteorite videos. I know some of them, I try to keep it entertaining. I know it can be a little boring, but it's just, uh, they really capture my imagination. Just thinking of where, what this was, the core of some planet that exploded a star. It's just amazing. And being, thinking the age of it to hold that in your hand, you think, well, I got to get through the week, you know, work week. And then you think this thing is billions of years old. It's like, oh, well, I guess the work week isn't so long. That's why I try to enjoy every moment. But thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you and all of you that watch and comment. It means a lot to me. And I know you put up with my crazy videos and these weird different things, <laughs> but it's just my interests and I wanted this channel to be about me and I'll live and die by that, which hopefully so far it's been okay, but I have a lot of different things and I'll show you different things from time to time. So thanks a lot for watching. So here it is, the Canyon Diablo Fragment.